What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is Proton Plus, which is an alternative to Proton Up QT. And this is why I'm mentioning it is because it has an actual, you know, uh, repo on Fedora. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to open up our terminal, as we always do. And we're actually going to do this instead because it's a lot easier and you can do this if you want to. Control shift plus 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 just so you can see what's going on. We're going to go into Sue and we're going to enable the repo. Once that's done, we should be able to install it and use it. So as I said, this is an alternative. Uh, does it not want to install? Oh, I think I know the problem. Um, so how do I do this? Just there it is. So we have to put this at the end. It's one of those janky repositories like that. Yes. Done. Now we should be able to do that. Some things just, uh, they don't go over very well. Some repositories force this, others don't. Some just work, some just don't. Now, we have it enabled. You'll find this in the description below. Okay. I'm actually going to minimize it. And we're going to close out the terminal. And there's the application. And look at that. That actually has a much nicer interface. Wow. So this allows you to install Proton GE. It also allows you to install Wine whatever version you want on Lutris, DXVK. Now oh, there's a special one and other types of DXVK. And of course, uh, official Proton, VKD3D Proton, which is kind of cool. And the Lutris one, not bad. Installed only. So yeah, I mean, it's a much better application than its alternative, which is this. We do a side-by-side com -side comparison. I think I like the more modern app better. What does this button do? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Plus, I think if we installed the Heroic Game Launcher, that it would most likely show up here as well. And I want to see if that's true. So we're going to search the Game Launcher. Sorry about all the flashbangs. Not all sites decide that they want to be, you know, dark mode. We're going to grab the RPM. We're going to open up the file, which should open this up, but it doesn't. Uh, it's being one of those apps. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Done. And I use this store to install most things, unless it's already installed, and then, well, I need to reinstall using terminal. And it's done. There we go. So if we open this up for the first time, gonna pop up on the other window here we go so now i believe we have to close this out and we have to open it back up oh not you i want you yep there's a row of game launcher see it worked wow that's pretty cool anyway proton plus is a very good replacement for the alternative and honestly, I think we all should start moving to it. Uh, I believe Nabora is going to be moving to it as well. So thank you guys for watching. I know this is an odd one, but I don't know. I just, uh, I have a thing for really, really cool versions of applications that can give you easy access, you know, to these type of programs. Proton GE, you know, all these other crazy things like this. And I don't know why he has it listed like 1384, 1383. I mean, this is a little bit better. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video. And again, check in the description below and I'll leave the link to be able to install this on Fedora 40. Bye, everybody.